question I often get is, is what is cervical stenosis? And cervical stenosis is a blockage on the spinal cord. If you think of the spinal cord as a garden hose, and essentially you've got water going through that garden hose, you can consider that your spinal cord. And so you've got, um, say, a foot stepping on the garden hose that's blocking that flow down to wherever it's going to have to go out of that nozzle. Um, so my job is to get that foot off of the garden hose, and that's essentially what surgery would end up doing, is relieving the pressure on the spinal cord and relieving the spinal stenosis. Um, so that's the actual cause of the problem. The next step is to say, well, what are the symptoms, or, or why would someone come to me or come to their family physician with spinal stenosis, uh, in this case in the cervical spine or the neck? Um, Typically, it's undiagnosed. Uh, often, patients will come in with years of having clumsiness in their hands or having a, a problem walking, that they're off balance, and you know the family doctor, you know, or they think it's just because they're getting old. Um, and often, there's a, a cause for that in the spine, and it's called cervical myelopathy. Myelopathy just means muscles or spinal cord. So there's a disconnect between your spinal cord and your muscles and you start losing coordination and often it uh, presents initially with dropping things, having difficulty buttoning buttons on a shirt um, and in the advanced stages it can even be a balance problem. Um, unfortunately when I see patients at this sort of what I call the, the late part of the disease process um, intervening uh, surgically and relieving the pressure, um, what we're trying to accomplish is to prevent worsening of symptoms. Um, there's a very early phase of this process that if we can intervene early, we often will prevent long-term, more uh, permanent problems. Um, so I enjoy seeing patients that come in that uh, you know, are saying that they're starting to drop things, because if we can intervene at that point with the clumsiness, um, I know we can have a, a better outcome for this patient long-term, and long-term is meaning 10 to 15, 20 years down the road. Um, often I'll have patients that will come in that are in the advanced stages and we intervene surgically and unfortunately that disease process is still ongoing even with surgery. Um, so I think early diagnosis and understanding what the problem is, is is key and that goes back to the initial statement of understanding what the pathology is or what the problem is, we can form a good treatment uh, for that by relieving the pressure uh, on the spinal cord and that's the majority of what we do with spinal stenosis is relieving pressure and taking that pressure off the spinal cord.